In this video, I'll show you how to patch a bicycle tube. The technique that I'll show you will work if you're doing it in a garage or if you're doing it out on a ride. What you're going to need is a patch kit, something like this Park Glueless Patch Kit. You're also going to need at least one, maybe two tire levers. Baby powder is helpful. It's not necessary, but it does help, and I'll show you why here in a couple minutes. And of course, you're going to need a pump, something like this mini pump which you can use out on a ride, which you really need to carry with you every time you ride. Or if you're doing it in a garage, a floor pump is faster. The first thing that you need to do is get the wheel off the bike. If you're out on a ride, then flip the bike upside down and undo your skewers, either the back or the front. This one is the rear wheel. So I've got this in a work stand since I'm doing it in my garage, which makes it easier. And I'm going to take the rear wheel off. This tube has a slow leak in it, so there's still some air left inside the tube. So I'm going to take my valve stem cover off, press the, press the valve, and just let the remaining air out. It also helps to push down on the tire to force the air out quicker. And you want it to be pretty low. There'll be just a little bit of air left in it, which is fine, but try to get as much out as you can. And there we go. Next, you just want to remove this little nut that holds the valve stem in place. Take that off and just set it aside. Before you use your tire lever, you're going to want to get the bead in the middle of the rim. The bead is this firm portion of the tire that locks inside the rim. And it actually has metal inside of it to keep it firm. So what you're going to want to do is use your thumb and kind of lift up and then go around the whole tire and push that bead in the middle of your rim. And what that does, as you do that, it's gonna raise up the bead. And sometimes when you do that, you can actually get the tire off without a tire lever. In this case, I can. If you're gonna to have to use a tire lever, then you take it here and just lift the bead off. If the bead is really tight, the little hook on the tire lever We'll hook onto a spoke to hold that portion open. And then you use your second tire lever to get the bead off of the rim. Now again, if you if you are if you lift it up with your thumb like that, a lot of times, especially with a mountain bike tire, you can get that bead off the rim without even using a tire lever. You only have to get one side of the bead off the rim since we're just pulling the tube out. So now I'm going to pull the tube out and I always start on the side of the rim opposite the valve stem. So I start on that side and then I'm able to lift this out. Before you patch your tube, it's very important to run your fingers along the inside of the tire and find whatever it was that made the hole in the tube in case it's still there. A lot of times it won't be that it'll, it'll be just something to puncture the tube. Um, but if you're a mountain biker, a lot of times you'll find a thorn inside of the tube. Now in this case, I ran my fingers all the way around and I didn't find anything. So I'm going to proceed with patching the tube. Your next job is to find the hole in the tube. And one tip that you can use is if you find the object in your tire that made the hole, you can line up the tube using the valve stem and the hole in the rim and find the approximate location uh, where your hole is because if it's a thorn or something small, sometimes it's hard to find. So in this case, since I didn't find anything, uh, I don't know where to start looking. So I'm going to pump up the tube. I've already got my pump hooked up. So I'm going to pump it up. Not too big. You don't want it to explode or deform. But you're going to have to get it something like this, so you can find the hole. Now what I do is, first of all, I put my ear up to it and see if I can hear something. Okay, again, this is a slow leak, so this one might be hard to find. Another thing that I do if I can't hear it is I'll actually put it up to my eye, and I'll actually look at the tube, because your eye is very sensitive to air, and a lot of times you can feel it with your eye, in a way that you wouldn't be able to do uh, with maybe your skin. And you're just going to have to go around and find it. Now, if it's a very small hole, 
Uh, sometimes you actually have to put it in water. So you can use a bucket of water. Um, you can go into your bathroom and just fill up your sink with water and uh, put the tube and that's pretty much guaranteed to find the hole. When you do that, just make sure you put your finger on it uh, before you patch it or you know, put your finger by the hole so you can see where it is because sometimes you'll do that and walk out and, and lose um, where the hole is. Another tip is you can actually take a pen and circle the little hole after you find it in the water. So in this case, I am going to use water because this is obviously a very small hole. I have not been able to find it yet. So you just hold the tube under the water, whether it's in a bucket or a sink, and look for little bubbles coming up, and there it is. And those bubbles are coming up very slowly, so this is, again, obviously a very small hole. Now obviously, if, you, if you're out on a ride, you can't do this. So um, if, usually if you're on a ride and a hole's this small, you're gonna be able to put some air on it in the uh, tube and get back home. Um, I also, recommend carrying not only a patch kit and tire levers on your ride but an extra tube because this does take time and uh, you're not going to want your buddies to wait for you uh, if uh, you, know, you have to patch it and sometimes especially if the weather's bad it's a whole lot easier just to throw in a tube and then patch your other one when you get home so now i found the hole and since this is so small i'm going to take a pen and i'm just going to circle where my hole is. If you had to use water to find the hole in your tube, make sure you dry off the whole tube with a rag before you patch it and before you put it back into your tire. Most patch kits come with a little piece of sandpaper like this. And this is not a mandatory step, but it does help the patch stick better. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take the uh, sandpaper and buff right over the hole where the patch is gonna go. And that removes some of the dirt and debris and smooths it out especially if the patch is going to be right on one of the seams of the tube. It kind of just buffs that down a little bit and makes a better surface for the patch. Now you'll notice the tube is still inflated. Before I put the patch on, I'm going to want to deflate the tube. The reason that I do this is if I don't, if I put the patch on first, the patch can wrinkle as the tube deflates for you to put it back in the, in the tire and that can uh, cause the patch to not be able to seal completely. So I'm gonna deflate the tube, and you don't wanna deflate it all the way because you wanna still have some form to it when you put it back to, into the tire. So deflate it all the way down to where it just, just before it starts to collapse. So that's good. Now let me say that I highly recommend these glueless patch kits, like this one from Park. If you're a veteran like me, you probably remember the glue ones where you had a tube of glue and you had to get the glue out, uh, put it on the surface of the tube, blow on it, get it dry, then stick the patch on and, and hold it for a little while uh, for it to stick. Uh, so not only was that an extra step, but also you'd be out on a ride and uh, pull out the tube and it's dried out and you don't have any glue. So these glueless patch kits are just so much easier to use. So I'm just going to peel off the the patch from the paper and put it right over the hole. Obviously the hole you want to put right in the middle of the patch. So I'm just going to hold it on there. Make sure it's on there real good. And now that it's patched, it's time to put it back in the tire. Before you put the tube back in the tire, this is where the baby powder comes in. And what this does is it not only allows it, you to put it back in the tire easier, but it, when the tube expands inside the tire, it allows it to not get stuck and pinched, and it even allows it to move around a little bit while you're riding. So I highly recommend using baby powder, and all you gotta do is just put a little on the tire, and just take your hand and go around, add a little bit more, and just cover the whole tube in baby powder. Okay, always start by putting the valve stem in first. Now again, we, we still have a bead on the tire. So put the valve stem and then stick it up inside the tire, the, the tube inside the tire, and then go around the whole thing and just have the tube inside the tire. Then it's time to start putting the bead back on. And I'm just gonna hold it in. You're gonna have to hold it 
with one finger as you go around and put the other side on. So I've got the bead inside and I'm at the, this last part where sometimes it's hard to get the final part of the bead back in. The same thing that we did taking it off by holding it with your thumb real tight and then you go around the whole tire and make sure the bead is in the middle of the rim. Okay, the middle of the rim is the lowest part and if you've got pressure on the bead with your thumb and you put the bead in the middle of the rim, that's going to allow this last part to go on a lot easier. And these can be real tough. This, this one is not that tight, but you will have some road bikes and some mountain bikes that are really, really tight getting that last part on. But if you get that bead down into the middle of the rim, it's going to make this last part a little bit easier. And then you just go around and push the last part in with your thumb. It's back on completely. And you want to just kind of go around the whole thing, eyeball it, make sure that the bead is on. And then we're going to keep an eye on it as we inflate it to make sure the tube doesn't pop out, which I've seen happen a few times. Before I inflate it, I want to take my nut here on the valve stem and you can push down on the top of the tire and get this all the way in. Now it's time to just inflate the tire. So I've got my pump on and I'm just going to pump it up to the PSI that I normally use. Now as you're doing this, when you maybe got about 15, 20 PSI in, just look and make sure the tube uh, hasn't slipped out in case you missed it when you were putting it, putting it on. Every once in a while I've seen someone do that where the tube will come shooting out between the rim and the tire. Okay, I've got my tire inflated and usually what happens is this little nut will, will come down a little, a little bit because the valve stem comes out more as the uh, tire gets pressure in it. So just make sure that nut is snug. You don't want to do that too tight. If you do it too tight you can actually pull the valve stem uh, loose from the tube and put a little hole in it. So don't do that too tight. And then don't forget your uh, your valve cover, and that's it. And of course, the final thing to do is just put the wheel back on the bike, and you are ready to roll.